What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And last night I was watching a video by Greg at Ballistic Barbecue. He did a 48 hour sous vide cook on a brisket. Got me all motivated to go out, buy a brisket and do it myself. But I went to Costco and they didn't have any there. That was the first time I've ever gone to Costco and haven't seen a brisket. Anyway, I'm still in the mood to sous vide. I'm still in the mood for some beef. So I'm gonna be knocking out some sous vide tri-tip. Weather's kind of bad outside. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it on the grill or if I'm going to finish it on my propane side box on my pellet cooker, but we are going to get this seared off whether bad or not. Anyway, we're going to do a five hour sous vide on this. We're basically just going to go ahead and season it up with some salt, get it in the bag, let it go five hours at 130 degrees, and then finish it off on the grill. So this is what our tri-tip looks like. Like I said, we're rolling with some prime tri-tip on this. They did do a good job getting this fat off. There is a little bit here uh, that's gonna basically cook off when we go searing it. Anyway, I'm just using a Mediterranean sea salt. And I did mention that we're gonna be using pepper, but we're gonna add that down the road. All right, now that we have this salted down, let's go ahead and vacuum seal it up. All right, let's go ahead and get this in the water bath. Like I said, we're gonna be going for about four to five hours on this. I would say on this, three hours would be about the minimum that you want, and maybe seven hours on the top end. If you start going past that, you're gonna probably end up with something that's a little bit more mushy, so. Let's go ahead and start it up. Set our temperature, I'm gonna go at 130 degrees. Time, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna set it for five hours. I'll, we're probably gonna pull it before it hits the five hours. I'm using a crock pot insert to do this in. This is gonna be a pretty tight fit with both of these in here, but it will work. Now, when this does come up to temperature, it's going to start the timer. In a perfect world, starting this with uh, warmer water would have been the way to go, but it's not a perfect world. All right, guys, so we did end up going the full five hours on this tri-tip at 130 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out of the bag, get them back on this broiler pan, and we're going to start drying this out and adding our seasoning. Now that we've got this tri-tip out of the bag, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pat it dry. We don't want to get a lot of that obvious moisture off of here. Let's go ahead and flip it over, get the other side. Now some of the salt that we did put on is still going to be intact, but we are going to want to go ahead and salt it down a little bit more. I am going to go with a little bit of pepper. There's a couple schools of thought on this pepper. Some people think it burns when it's on the grill. I personally, if, it, if, it's, if that's what it does, then that's what I like. So. We're going to be hitting it with some salt and pepper. I did mention another YouTube channel earlier by the name of Greg at Ballistic Barbecue. Most of you guys already know him if you're involved with my channel, but Greg at Ballistic Barbecue, listen, we're talking about an all around cook that does some definitely good barbecue as well as the best burgers I think that could be seen on YouTube. So like I said, we're going pretty simple on this seasoning and I'm just hitting it with some olive oil right quick. And we're gonna go ahead and rub that in. Hit it with some of this Mediterranean sea salt. Now this pepper I'm gonna be using is a pepper that was sent to me by another YouTube channel by the name of Elton's Barbecue Pit out of Norway. Let's go ahead and this is kind of a Kind of a coarse grind pepper mixture. I can't read the package, so I don't know exactly what's on it, but that's what we're putting on this. So this is some good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to his channel in the iCard above and description below as well. Definitely if you're into like smoking salmon and stuff like that, he has some excellent recipes out there for that. Let's go ahead and flip this over. All right, good to go. Let's go outside and start up this sear box, finish this up. 
All right, guys, so we got this Camp Chef Woodwind side box humming. Listen, this smoker is not just for smoking. If you got some small stuff to grill, throw it right on here, too. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit both of them on here or not, but we're going to go ahead and try. I'm not really looking for any sear marks or anything like that since we're cooking a tri-tip, but I am looking for a nice sear on it. Bam. Now I have this on high. That's going to put us about 900 degrees. I want to watch that. I don't want to keep it on one side too long because I don't want to overcook it, even though this is a thick cut of meat. So this has been about two minutes. Let's take a look and see what we're looking like. You know what? That's not as seared as I want, so we're just going to go ahead and give it about a quarter of a turn just in case we can run up on some grill marks incidentally. I'm going to let that go about another two minutes. We'll check on it again. Minutes, let's just go ahead and flip it. Well, this is grill, and I did just want to go ahead and give a full shot of this grill right here. Basically, it's a pellet grill, just like a Traeger. The only difference is it does have this side box over here that you're able to grill things on. I really like this unit right here. You know what? This is about at two minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You know what? go ahead and just give it a little bit of a turn looks good to me though I think I'm gonna let this go about another two minutes on this side then I'm gonna flip it over just do it about another minute and a half technically this is done but I do want to get a little bit more of a sear on this we should be good to go just one more minute lit up and it's a done deal so here's what we're looking like coming off the grill i'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for about five minutes just so it's a little bit easier for me to handle with my hands then we're gonna slice it up see what we're looking like all right let's get into this and see what's up these grains on this particular one are kind of running along this way so i'm going to kind of cut this direction so let's go see what's going on Looks good to me. Could be a little more rare, but that, I'm fine with that. Mm. Anyway, let me plate this up. All right, guys, so this is a done deal, and this looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. We're about to get into this. We're just going to be tasting one piece because we are going to be making some tacos out of this, but. You know what, we're just gonna go ahead and go raw dog on it and eat a piece by itself. Now typically at the end of my videos, I might make fun of Mason's head, but he's feeling a little under the weather right now. So will you guys all put him in your thoughts? Anyway, without touching every single piece on here, just go ahead and grab a piece, taste it, and let's see what you think. Okay. First off, it's nice and tender. A little bit of fat, just enough. Great seasoning. Real good. I'm gonna tell you, this is good. That pepper, That pepper was good. Now, I know there's people that say that they feel like the pepper gets burnt when you sear it. I don't taste that myself, so I'm going to keep doing things the way I've been doing them. Like I said, I want to give two shout outs. Greg at Ballistic Barbecue for even putting this thought in my head for his uh, doing his 48 hour sous vide brisket. And then my boy Elton over at Elton's Barbecue Pit for providing me with that delicious pepper that we added onto this steak. Anyway, this stuff is really good, ain't it? Mm-hmm, real good. All right, I'm telling you. Anyway, we're both a little under the weather. I'm not sure, but you know, I was sicker than I've been in the last 25 years, last 
last week and he's now sick. But he's not that sick because he's playing video games and doing all that mm -hmm. goofiness. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. We're going to get making these tacos right quick. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.